Yeah. All right, it's ladies' night. And so we're going to answer the next call from a very beautiful, luscious, voluptuous caller. Vidya James. Hey. Hello, Vidya James. Can you hear me? The luscious yes. Vidya James. Yeah, the voluptuous <laughs> Vidya James. Hold on, let me get my video. Please get your video, James. Uh, get your video up and let us know your favorite Medea moment. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Three, you know, two. can I... Is it okay if uh, my favorite moment... If I've never seen the movies? Okay, we had one person say they didn't know who Medea was. You know who Medea is, you've just never seen a Medea movie. Well, I can have like a favorite moment if I've never seen the movie. All right, all right. Difficult. We'll let this slide. You're the one person who gets away <laughs> with never having never seen a Medea movie. You're the one. That's person. your scapegoat. I got it. All right. What's Thanks. your question, Video James? My question. Or James, as it is. Uh, well, I'm on spring break right now. Okay. Oh, dude, it's spring break forever. <laughs> and uh, bitches. I just went to Comic Con yesterday. Which uh, my town, my town has never had a Comic Con before. All right. So it was my first convent, uh, my experience at like a convention like that. It was right. pretty cool. Okay. And I don't know if this question has been asked before, but uh, what is your favorite? What is your favorite and least favorite convention you've been to? Uh. Honestly, my favorite's probably RTX because all the stuff favorite. afterwards is a lot of fun. Well, okay. Legit answer. Maybe this is going to sound fucking pretentious and snobby. Favorite convention? Comic-Con when I was about 15 That's, years old. Yeah. You're right. Least you're right. favorite convention? Comic-Con Comic -Con right now. Yep. Yeah. You're, you are hey, absolutely right. I can agree with that totally. I take back everything I said. Yes. Comic-Con back when I used to pay for passes hey. and go and and go and yeah. schedule out in my phone like all the panels I was not Dude, this is before I even had a phone. Mm -hmm. I would get a piece of paper and write out yeah. the panels I wanted to go. Oh, these guys are going here. This guy, Oh, I, and there's a toy coming yeah, out. Here, I would like, say up until about the year 2004, mm -hmm. before Comic-Con got featured on shows like Entourage mm -hmm. and before it became this big fucking joke about nerd culture being a punchline to the universe. It was a really special, intimate thing. You could just walk in off the street, buy a ticket, and peruse it, and it was awesome. I'd get tickets for like 30 bucks. Yeah, even less if you were already. Less if you yeah. said you were 14. Yeah, yeah. and there were no, there were movies there, but it was Star Wars, Star Trek, Blade Runner. It was science like fiction movies. The new Bruce Campbell horror. Yeah, film. or like really independent yeah. horror movies. There was no like that was good for that yeah, fan base. Th there yeah. was there, they weren't advertising fucking Disney movies. Yep. Yeah. They weren't advertising new TV sitcoms or any of that bullshit. It's just turned into a it's it's honestly just turned into a big marketing convention at this point. But yeah. you know, just a few years ago, even just ten years ago, it was really special. And really you, cool. I remember I was walking, I think Rocco was there, and Kevin, different Kevin, were walking around, and Matt Groening was there, and no one cared. Yeah, we Matt, met Matt Groening there. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, we You're took a picture. He's, yeah, we took a picture of them and just hung out with them for a while. But it's like, it wasn't like the swarm that would be there today, and like the pictures and the cameras and everything. Yeah, it, was just, a, it was just him hanging out. Adult Swim used to go, and, yeah. and they were like this really hip thing at this. They were like subversive little booth. Yeah, yeah. And, and nobody there even knew who Adult Swim was, except for us, because we were in high school. So we would go to their panels. It would be empty. They would hand out all these like gifts and stuff. <laughs> It was Dino, really cool. Dino Stamatopoulos would show up drunk as fuck and get in fights <laughs> with the guys that made Venture Brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, 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 to get exclusives now, it's a whole <laughs> day great. out of your... Well, you to know, even like, go to the convention now is a pain in the ass. Yeah, to even get a work. ticket to, is, is work. To yeah, walk um, through that fucking door oh, for I'm sorry, 10 minutes. Out, it's through the door to yeah. get around downtown. Yeah. What a joke. Mm -hmm. uh, so there you have it. I, I think some aspects of it have mellowed a little bit in the past couple years in terms of like Warner Brothers isn't pushing their new romantic comedy anymore mm -hmm. and like certain things have mellowed a little bit but that doesn't mean that changes the answer necessarily. No. The panel it's situation the same, yeah. is still fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot go to a panel that's in any of the major halls unless yeah. you camp out the night before. Yeah. Well, I just think the attendance situation is fucked. Too big. They, they yeah. just want... They, they turned it into, like, a... 
It's a money making. Uh, it's a machine. meat yeah. it's a business. Yeah. Fucking industry. Well, they're expanding. And, it's gonna have and, so and now much it's more expanding, room. and yeah. people are like, "Oh, it's so much more room." Yeah, and then they there's sell gonna, like fifty thousand more gonna tickets. They're going to jam pack it again. There's not so. going to be any more oh. fucking room. Mm -mm. People are literally dying at Comic Con now because the crowds are so big. Uh, yeah. People are getting stabbed <laughs> because they're not giving hey. up their seats at panels for new shitty movies. It's a madhouse. Running into traffic to get to the front of a twilight line. Mm -hmm. Getting hit by cars. You know, I saw the convention expansion. Into uh, the Embarcadero? Yeah. Looks shitty. There you have <laughs> it. No, um, but uh, I, I agree with that. There's certain things that I do enjoy about the San Diego Comic Con, but then when I think about them, it's because I'm an exhibitor there. You know, I had a, I actually had fun getting the exclusives this last year, but then I think, well, yeah, I'm an exhibitor. I was there before the hall opened, and I just ran in with a bunch of dudes, and within five minutes I had yeah. a thing. I, there's no way I would wait all day for that. You know what I mean? Yep. So it, it, you know, I got to go to a bunch of panels, but it was because someone cut me in. It's all stuff because I circumvented the rules, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, uh, so, yeah. Uh, Ber Veronica brought up a good point in the chat. She said, it's less of a fandom celebration and more of a zoo of celebrity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, but, and last year I was on a mission to find Swamp Thing comics and people yeah. were talking to me like I was a fucking freak. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I was at Comic Con. Yeah. So. But, but I have to say, uh, I, it, a point I'll give Comic Con, to its credit, and the reason why it's the way it is, Comic Con does have an energy that the other conventions don't. Where Comic Con, every industry is buzzing like crazy. You know, you could just. I'm speaking as an exhibitor. We have a booth there, and I'll meet the guy who created uh, Regular Show, and we'll talk about artwork. Oh, that's cool. And then uh, Gene Simmons walks by, and then someone there. Yeah. So the celebrity thing can get gross, but it's also cool in the fact that you'll you'll meet people from every industry, and that's kind of interesting. But again, like, yeah. the clusterfuck surrounding it kind of ruins it. But you know also, I mean? too, one thing is I feel like there's... That celebrity mentality gets blown out of proportion. And there are, pe yeah. oh, there, yeah. there, there are people at Comic-Con who you know, yeah, yeah, you were on that reality show on MTV. And they're acting yeah. like they're fucking AAA-level yeah. celebrities. And it's just like, yeah. Comic-Con is so bizarre. Yeah. I'm only speaking as an exhibitor working there. It, it, that, that aspect is interesting to yeah. me. But I know what you're talking about, definitely. Um... If I could just say real quick, I agree with that as like kind of least favorite experience, but my favorite, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if it counts as game days. Game days! This yeah. last game days. Yeah, that game was days the best. Is, that was yeah, the I best was, fucking event I ever attended. It's nonstop fun. I was thinking about it last week. I, maybe biased. Fun, fun to organize. I, I'd, fun to watch, yeah. I'd watch some stuff from version three. Yeah. And maybe you want to like. Yeah, let's film, let's film. And then I went like, no, I want to do game days. Yeah. I want to do game days again. <laughs> game days is I don't want to work on anything. I want to so do game days. So much fun. Yeah. Huh. I just want to party. Let's game just party. days yeah. was like the best weekend of my life. So thank you, everybody. That's the best convention experience. Sorry, True. RTX, SGC. You guys are great. We're going to attend you, but we're going to keep our heads down. We're always, just we're know. say if, nothing. No. If you see us at RTX and SGC, et cetera, just know in the back of our minds, we subtly wish we were at Disneyland. We yeah. liked our own event better. Uh, <laughs> so, you know? That, that, you know uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend Comic-Con to anybody, especially if you well, have... at this point, you're... I mean, if, this, point. If, if, if you have, like, social anxiety, if you don't like big crowds, <laughs> don't fucking fuck with Comic-Con. <laughs> Do not. Do not fuck with Comic-Con. There, there's some people who have found an equilibrium with Comic-Con and they know how to do it every year. Keep doing it, but yeah. but new people. But I, I think PAX is, is, a good, is a good substitute. RTX, yep. SGC. But unfortunately, honestly, those are all video game-based conventions. And I don't think there's a comic convention that replicates what Comic-Con yeah. was. You know that are hated. Uh, it's they're probably one, are. They're, no, because I don't. I, I think WonderCon is a comic convention, but it's still not where Comic Con was no, at. In yeah, not, not in its at all. heyday. I, I agree. There's nothing yes. to rep <laughs> replicate Comic Con in its heyday, yep. as far as I know. Yeah. No, you're Anthrocon. You're right. Anthropomorphicon. Check that out. Are you gonna go to Anthropomorphicon this year? I was planning on it, but it just doesn't look like it's gonna work out. Which of the Animaniacs are you gonna dress as? Yakko, Wacko, or Dot? <laughs> You look like a yakko to me. Yeah, I never I, realized say until a like a week ago oh the joke behind Dot. They're the Warner Brothers and her si and their sister, that sister Dot. Dot. It's, it's the Dot and Bros. Yeah. yeah, I never realized that. Uh, that's funny. I didn't either. Yeah. I'm going to dress like the nurse. Don't, oh, hey, hello, don't do that. Don't nurse. Do that. I'm a, I don't want I don't have to fuck you. Hello, nurse. I don't want you to have to fuck me either. But I'll be obligated. Oh, damn. Then it's rape. Yeah. It was like the first time I was attracted to a female ever. Really? It was oh, a yeah, Jessica that, Rabbit? That cartoon. 
Okay, yeah, it's Jessica. It's Jessica Rabbit. Shit, I <laughs> see. He's I right. Rocco, he's Rocco. Garrett knows Rocco. I know what he likes, mm-hmm. guys. That's right. why we're best friends. Thanks for your call. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, congratulations. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for the congratulations. I just noticed Marta the Martians wearing some interesting attire on there. 